What do you think regeneration will mean to young people in Barrow? In one sense, all the regeneration is about young people because the facilities that will be available in Marina Village, sports pitches, and athletics facility, young people will benefit from that. The town centre is really important, I think, because it's a good barometer of what, you, what a town feels like. Abbey Road is completely different to the bit we're standing on now, in a way, because this is a very modern standard of yeah. uh, refurbishing the town. Abbey Road's going to be much more about the sort of historic buildings that are there. We're very anxious to hear from young people about what their views are about the town centre and the facilities yeah. that they want to see. Community. Lifestyle. Environment. Housing. Sports and leisure. Open spaces. Safety. Economy. Education. Transport. Shops. <laughs> Do you think the Youth Reaction Team are helping in this area? I do. I think it's very important that young people's views are heard in this. We as a council find it quite difficult, I think, to engage with young people. If you don't get young people to stay, to like the place they live in, then the town is basically dying on its feet. I know a bit about the Marina Village. It's going to be like, um, make, it's going to try and make Barrow a bit better and bring students that have gone away to university back. So then um, it gives more of the population here instead of it all going away. And it's going to have like a new water sports centre and lots of new houses and jobs for people to have and stuff like that. So it should be really good. Could you tell us a little bit about the Marina Village? From the marina, which goes along the dockside here, there will be a mixture of 650 apartments, other housing ranging from townhouses to larger four bedroom family houses. One of the things that we're actively exploring are houses that have a zero carbon footprint and use green energy. Current water sports that take place on the dock are powerboat racing and jet ski racing. Shops and bars and other things for the, uh, for the marina will bring a little bit of activity and movement back to the waterfront. The marina and the marina village itself will cost in excess of about £100 million. Some of that funding will be coming from private investors, but some of it will be coming from the public sector. The whole project will take a significant amount of time. We could be looking at somewhere between 12 and 15 years until it is finally completed. Of particular interest to young people, these are going to be cycleways. It'll be, it'll be possible to you know, ride your bike from here, right across the footbridge, into the marina village. I think our voice is actually being heard, I think. Uh, they do take into consideration what we actually want, like, for example, the uh, Arm School Skate Park. That's been wanted for yeah. a long, long time. Um, here at Arm School Skate Park, the community has finally been given £100,000 to build. The money has been granted to them by the neighbourhood of New Upland. People have been waiting quite a long time for this. They finally got the ball. It's one of the main features that they wanted. The problem that they thought they might have with it, though, is the first people they asked was quite a few years ago and they've all seemed to have grown up now and sort of moved away but luckily the younger generation still want a skate park. To me I think regeneration is more like improving what's already there, just making it a better, better. place. So what are you doing to improve Barrow for young people? Well we've asked young people a few times what they'd really like to improve the area and we're doing things like events and festivals, we had a kite surfing competition not that long ago, new sports facilities, interesting plays and productions and opportunities. So what we're trying to do is, is make the town more fun and more interesting, more opportunities in the daytime and in the evening time as well, so better restaurants and pubs and clubs and that sort of thing. In the summer of 2008, there will be more leisure facilities available to the local community, one being a major refurbishment of the leisure centre. I feel like uh, they're doing a youth gym with a dance studio and they're doing a whole new adult's gym and redoing it out. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good place to work. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. 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 Definitely.
to hopefully develop the railway arches in ways that will benefit the community. I think Borough right. Park's quite a big, a big part of Borough as well because everyone goes there for like scenery. The you can like sail boats or like remote control boats. A lot of lads go and play football on, and it's got a new kiddie park, like kids children's Beat park pop. as well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're going to build a new skate park as well, put some new lights in, so it's safer after dark. I think what's really important for young people is they, if they're born in Barrow, they see a future in the town. And it's about giving people career opportunities within the area, making them feel that there's a secure future. And the whole of the regeneration programme is really geared towards that kind of stability. Some people might want to move away because they might not be that bothered about making new friends or they might not have a lot of family and um, they might just want to have, get away from Barrow they might think it's not that good or they might not know all the things that are going to be happening. I think Barrow's got loads of opportunities for young people but it's really just a question of getting the word out there and making people realise what the town's got. It, it, everything looks like it's going well. Uh, the Marina Village and the Watt Spot Centre, I think that's going to be a big attraction for Barrow and I think it'll be good.